<clears throat> Hello guys, I'd like to do a little video on um, this community transmission. There's quite a few exciting things and a few disappointing things. The disappointing things that are not here would be have to be weapons and potential heroes, but we've got enough heroes, so I think it'd be weapons that are, we're lacking, I'd say. But um, let's get to it. So, Naboo, there's going to be another uh, carbon copy of a Galactic Assault map, just more damaged and yeah, a bit like Kamino and Kashyyyk. Um, Droidicus. People have been <laughs> hitting up dice for like a year asking where are these guys. They're finally here. Now, dice have discussed in the past that they really wanted to step away from the whole class reinforcement thing. Like, you've got aerials, enforcers, and infiltrators. And this looks like the first sort of reinforcement that won't be tied to a class, that won't have an opposer on the Republic side. Um, since there is, um, no, you know, like, there's, you think of the clone commando, but I'd rather clone commando replace the reinforcer, uh, the, re the enforcer. This will share some attributes of the enfor um, the enforcer. Well, that's how weird saying those two together. Um, it will have a overheat or like a overload, there we go, overload. It will pretty much do the same thing an enforcer weapons does. It just goes into turbo mode. Um, that's good. It's exciting to see but yeah, at the same time, like, where's the counter to this guy? He's going to be an absolute monster. Um, we'll find out when it comes here. This is what I'm happy about. Now, for those that have played Battlefront 2, you know something's missing. The cannon right up here. Because in Battlefront 2, you could share the tank between the driver and the gunner. And there was like a lat sort of cannon on top of it. Where you could shoot a big ass green beam. Um, but since we can't share vehicles in this game, it will be... That cannon's gone, and the hatch is closed, and it's just use the driver. Um, I'm so excited. This is what, what, this is the one thing that I was so excited about, because that once Disney took over, that tank was no longer considered cannon. Um, it was just a figment, you know, and, I'm, and that leaves questions like, what will we get in the future? Will we get a grey version of the Imperial one, in, you know, far into the future? Will we get the, the Rebel tank from Battlefront 2? It's exciting um, to see this return to this game, you know, because that was a fan favourite on Battlefront 2, the originals. Um, I mean, it's good to have a tank up against tanks, because it, the ATRT can take out enemy tanks, but, you know, like, they still got to move around and, like, like actually turn. And if tank's on you and he's turning, you're not, you're not going to get much chance to shoot him. You spend too much time trying to rotate around him. By the time you, you know, enemy soldiers are going to see you and shoot you with your ATRT. Uh, this Anakin Skywalker's general outfit. Um, it's got the it's got the Anakin Episode Three head and the Clone Wars um, armor. In the Clone Wars, his hair was his hair was a lot shorter wasn't more of a mullet like it is in this one. It was a lot shorter and it grew over time until eventually the new season that comes out where he will have his full-on episode 3 hairstyle. But he's got shorter hair. It probably comes up to around his ears. doesn't go down any further to his neck. Um, but they could change that because they did change the way he looked. You know, when he first released, he looked like something completely different. He didn't look like Anakin at all. And they changed him so they might make a new hairstyle for him in the future. People don't like it. Um, this right here. Now, this, I've made a video in the past about universal armors, and I'm pretty sure this is what this is. And about this, this only looks like a helmet. I don't know, they didn't show any armor, so will they be just, like, I don't know, because it, it's a new 212th camouflage division. It's pretty much the siege, the second siege of Geonosis, and you see Waxer and Boyle running around with camouflaged armor with yellow shoulder plates. That's their armor, pretty much. It's going to be a desert camouflaged armor for Geonosis. Um, it's, it's a rough trooper helmet and the phase one armor, but will we see will we see any difference between it, between the classes? Because we can, all, we can only see the helmet. Will the helmet still stay the same amongst all the classes? So, for example, will the body armor change? Will it be like a... Will, would you be able to tell who's an officer, who's a heavy, who's a standard assault trooper and who is a sniper because the body arm might be different it will have the same sort of camouflage but will have a different shape because all we can see here is a helmet so it doesn't matter if we're an officer or a heavy assault or a sniper we're going to have the same helmet which is pretty cool especially for snipers because i don't really like that eye visor thing 
it kind of, especially for like, I want the 91st Recon, I really love the 91st Recon helmet, and I just wish it didn't have that stupid eye visor for the sniper. Um, but yeah, this is pretty cool, a new camouflaged whole, like a new 212th branch of camouflage armor. The same helmet, and maybe different bodies. Now this, I made a video in the past um, about universal armors where it didn't matter what faction you're on, I mean, sorry, it didn't matter what trooper you were, but every trooper of that faction can wear the exact same armor. My perfect example was like a TIE fighter pilot armor. Didn't matter if you played an officer, heavy, assault, specialist, you wore the exact same armor. There was no difference between it signaling what kind of armor class it was. And this looks like it. This is a phase two RAF trooper clothing, which eventually becomes, you know, the Imperial Scout trooper clothing. Um, I'm excited because this looks like universal armor. It's going to cost 40000 I don't know if it's going to cost 40000 per troop, if they want money, which you know, they, will, they will, they'll most likely do that. Hopefully it's not, it's just 40000 directly, and you can go in between any one of your clone classes, but that doesn't make much sense as a business model, because I'm pretty sure they're going to charge you 40000 per class to be able to wear this thing, since it's going to be universal, it doesn't matter what class you play, it's going to look exactly like that, if you're an officer, or a heavy, or whatever. So this is what I love, I love the whole universal armor thing it's awesome and people wanted this when they found out about the, um, the rework of the clone armor and they didn't bring it out and people whinged about it and <laughs> it's only when we whinge they listen um, that happens with everything and we're getting the universal arm we've always wanted from the from the you know Kashyyyk movie from Star Wars episode 3 from the Kashyyyk battle and we're getting the Clone Wars content which is the camouflage gear the clones war in um that back that waxer and boil war in the second siege of Mandalore, and that's pretty cool. Even better, Felucia. Uh, it's only concept art, but it looks pretty bloody good for concept art. Um, even though it looks like a a heavy shoulder plate, but um, I haven't seen clothes like that before. Just with the backpack on. This is built for capital supremacy. I don't know if they're going to make it available for GA. Um, I think they might be moving away from that. And they might make it like a big map where both supremacy and GA will both fit for it. Um, let's have a look. Uh, received. Game mode. One of the most requested content editions come from former planets. Coming later this year will be a gr uh, brand new planet to Star Wars Battlefront. The colourful jungle world of Felucia will be arriving in 2019 and is being built for capital supremacy. Alright, so I don't think it's going to be built for GA. I don't like GA, I think it's repetitive, predictable, and I hate the cross-era hero shit. Um, yeah, that's exciting. They might add down the line, you know, like a battle of Coruscant on the ground when you see like a massive... I would love to see that. I'd love to see a Coruscant map where you're like in the streets, you know, fighting droids, you know, during the time of when the, you know, just before episode 3 started where the droids have taken the Chancellor and you're fighting off, you know, the, the last surviving droids of that battle. And in, in the, um, in the cutscene where you see the Star Destroyer getting blown up, you see like a half an, a Separatist Dreadnought crashing in the distance and that's like Anakin and Obi-Wan as a little easter egg, but um, it's pretty bloody cool to see a new map. I, I'd like to see Coruscant and Mustafar and uh, Utapel, but uh, at the same time, I really want to see some original content. Like, I would like to go to Tatooine and s just, you know, run around there with Capital Supremacy and just slay people as a Darth Vader. That'd be damn good fun. Um, yeah, the community transmission is pretty good. It's just a bit disappointing there's no reveal of uh, Ahsoka or, or Ventress or. Um, Weapons, you know, I'd love to use clone guns across all eras because it makes sense as the rebels using scavenged gear from the Clone Wars era. So since I use modified Y wings, um, but yeah, I'd love to see that. I'd love to see some new skins for the rebels too, like modified scavenged clone armor mixed with their rebel clothing. It'd be sick. Um, but this is this is cool. New camouflage for Geonosis, Raft Trooper helmet and the Phase One armor. Um, for, only for the 212 though, there's no other camouflage for the legions, and of course uh, Kashyyyk scout troopers that we uh, saw in episode 3, which eventually become the Imperial scout troopers. Just a different sort of styled helmet. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'm intrigued, this is actually a really good community transmission. 
exciting news for the tank and for many of the fans the um the destroyer and of course people wanted the general skull regret for it for a long time and we're getting new content from the clone wars from the uh, second battle of geonosis and we're getting the Kashyyyk scout trooper armor that we've all been wanting since you know the the last big clone armor release so again thanks for watching over and out